Scott Sidwell from Merit Sensor Systems and I'll be uh, demonstrating some of the reliability of our blood pressure sensor, how it's been designed to withstand some real life, real world application, uh, brutal conditions, even in a hospital setting. So first of all, a little discussion about the sensor. This is a scaled up model of the pressure sensor that Merit Sensor manufactures. I'm going to take it apart so you can kind of see how it's assembled. This is the uh, this is the brains of the sensor. This is the MEMS element. Uh, we uh, start with a silicon wafer and etch away most of the silicon until there's a very thin diaphragm remaining in the center of the, the die. Uh, the thickness of that diaphragm is less than 25 microns. Remember, the thickness of a hair is probably 75 to 100 microns. And so that's a that becomes all those silicon is very brittle like glass. When it's that thin, it actually becomes flexible. And along the sides of that diaphragm, we implant and diffuse into the silicon some resistors. And we connect those resistors together in what's called a Wheatstone bridge. When pressure is applied to that diaphragm, the output of that bridge is directly proportional to the pressure applied. So that's the, the essence of the MEM sensing element. We mount that sensing element carefully onto a ceramic substrate. Then we uh, put the polycarbonate snout over the top of it. Can't do it in that order. And, but, uh, and then after the polycarbonate snout is on the top, then we'll fill this uh, area with a dielectric gel so we can protect and insulate the uh, sensing element. So this sensing element is shown here, and these here are, are several Merit Medical products and our parent company, but the sensing element is inside this, this housing right here. Uh, the electrical cable is connected to the, the blood pressure monitor, and this is the same monitor you would see in any hospital. In this particular setup, this is something that's uh, very similar to what you might find in a cath lab. This, this setup took me maybe an hour to set up on my own. It's something that a nurse can do very quickly, maybe within a minute they have this all set up and ready to go for, for the operation. The, uh, the other side of this blood pressure sensor, the other side of this line, is going to our patient here. And I have a pressure generator down below that's mimicking the, the heartbeat. Every time the heart beats, it sets out a sends out a pulse throughout the venous system. And this catheter in the patient now, connected to the blood pressure sensor, this becomes an extension of the venous system. So every time the heart beats, it sends out a pulse of pressure, and it goes across the surface of our blood pressure sensor and, and senses that that feedback from the heart. And that's what you're seeing on the on the monitor here. And one difference between this blood pressure sensing element and say a cuff that you might get at a, you know, a checkup at your clinic, that cuff only tells you the, the peak pressure that you're seeing and also the, the rate that you're seeing. This type of sensor gives you real-time um, <laughs> blood pressure sensor monitoring and it gives you a lot of fidelity in the signal so the doctor can see if there's any irregularities in the output of the heart, like maybe a, a blocked artery or uh, a damaged valve in the heart. So back to the reliability issue with the blood pressure sensor. When the, when the nurse does this setup, the first thing that she'll do is try to get all the bubbles out of the line. And any bubble in the, in the line will kind of dampen the signal from the sensor and you won't get a very high fidelity uh, signal on the monitor. And what they typically use is a hemostat. And if they see a bubble around the sensor, they'll just they'll just whack on it. You know, and when I first learned, saw a nurse do this, it shocked me a little bit that they were, you know, treating our sensing elements so harshly. But this is very common in the hospital setup that a nurse will do this. And if the MEMS element isn't designed to account for this and the packaging isn't designed to account for that, uh, that MEMS diaphragm, like I said, very 
properties like glass, very brittle, it'll fracture that very quickly. When we've done the same hammering on an accelerometer, we see hundreds, probably thousands of Gs being hit, applied to that sensing element. Now the other common application in a hospital environment is the nurse will want to inject a contrast or a dye into the patient so that, that uh, they can see the venous system under an x-ray. So uh, what we see here though, I brought this uh, inflation syringe here so we have a, a way to measure how much pressure can be generated when the nurse uh, applies that. And uh, I want to turn off the pressure to my pressure generator just so I don't accidentally hurt the generator. But I'll, I'll apply the pressure here, and you'll be able to read it on this display here. And this is in atmospheres or bars. And you see, I, very quickly I can spike up to above 20 bars when doing this injection. And that can vary quite a bit depending on the type of syringe used and also the strength of the nurse uh, applying the pressure. So now I'm gonna see if that kind of pressure will destroy my blood pressure sensor. And I'll turn this off and turn this this way. So now I'm gonna apply that same pressure to, to our blood pressure sensor and see if it survives. So I, I applied that same pressure and now I'm gonna turn this back on. And lo and behold, it, it still survives. So even though this, this blood pressure sensor is designed for, what, what's your typical blood pressure? It's about 120 over 80. Yeah. Those units are in millimeters of mercury. 100 millimeters of mercury is about two PSI. So very low pressures that this is designed to be very sensitive, yet I just applied to it over 300 PSI. In a hospital setting, that, that, ten, that happens. It's not uncommon. And the other, the other thing to consider is that this manifold here is only rated at 200 PSI. Even if the nurse does remember to turn off the pressure to the sensor when doing the injection, there's still going to be some leak by in these valves, and so that sensor will still be exposed to some high pressures that uh, it wasn't designed for. Now, the advantage that uh, we have as Merit Sensor, we have a strong medical device company as our parent, and we've worked with, like I said, uh, nurses that have worked in the field for 20 years that are now employed by our parent company, and they've shown me and our engineering team uh, these types of scenarios are very common in, in the real world environment. And we've been able to account for those and design those into our blood pressure sensor element to withstand those uh, 